Oh, oh boy, do I have something special to show you guys. So, a few days ago, I got in contact with a guy named Ocelot. No, that's not his real name, he just likes Metal Gear, like I do. Some of you know Ocelot. He's the team lead for the Beyond the Forbidden Lands project. I talked about this project back in November on my channel. In case you forgot, a bunch of Shadow of the Colossus fans are putting together a fan-created remake of the original game that includes eight colossi that were cut from the original game. Those include the Spider Colossus, the Monkey Colossus, and more. I got a special teaser for you from that project at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. However, that's not the reason why I'm talking to you today. Ocelot recently came across a very early build of the original game. Probably the earliest build that the fans have ever come across. This was the build used at E3 2005. For the past little while, Ocelot and some of his friends have been data mining this build and <laughs> let's just say he came across some really, really cool stuff. Today, Ocelot and I are going to present to you everything that has been come across so far. Before I hand it over to him, I'm just going to say two things. First of all, we had a few technical difficulties recording this footage, so we'll be switching between a Discord stream that I recorded and the live footage he recorded. Don't worry though, you'll be able to see everything more or less crystal clear. Second, if you want to skip to specific parts of this video, there are time codes in the description box. Now, without further ado, I'll let Ocelot lay the groundwork for all the awesome stuff you're about to see. He begins by explaining that before uncovering Covering this E3 demo, the oldest demo we had of the game was from the official PlayStation magazine. In the OPM demo, we only had access to the nine center squares around their floor. Hmm. If you tried to go out of bounds, the game would crash. At first, we thought this to be the same case as we saw rock stoppers, boulders, and broken bridges. So we figured that this would be the same case with this demo. However, as we got access to little hacks and tools to get out of bounds, we came across a very surprising discovery. The entire map was explorable. Really? Okay. Uh, the differences in this map is the biggest we've seen. The amazing Wizzy, who I've spoken about in our previous video, Wizzy uh, was able to drum roll. Give us access to the B-Bung menu. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, boy. So I'm going to show off some of the Colossi that have the biggest differences. Um, so we all know Minotaur B, I think. Barber, the one that lives in the big temple. So you know that one, Max? Yeah, of course. Uh, Mr. Neckbeard. Yeah. You're mm. going to love this, I think. Everyone okay. thought Barber was boring in the final version. Oh, hey, man, hey, hey. Guy, I, this I, guy I is like a doozy. Okay. Hold on. This guy is a doozy. Just watch this cutscene. I want to get your reaction to how different it is. You might not be able to see it, but... <laughs> you... What the hell is up with this beard? <laughs> yeah. But look at that. Oh, cool. Barber so is holding a, a weapon. But we've never seen it before until now and now you see Barber actually slamming down on the wall with it and apparently he got me so fun times i gotta get back <laughs> killed me. so i wonder why they got rid of it would it just made him like a little bit too op um i think it, the reason why Barber's weapon was removed was specifically because um one being that it's to help make him a little more unique especially compared to the other colossi Mm, yeah. But another reason will also be because of the potential issues of using such a weapon in such a closed environment, such a tight closed environment. So we're going to watch and see what he does here. <laughs> okay. What is going on with his beard, man? That's tripping yeah. me out. <laughs> um, we have evidence that Barber's beard was only recently just added. Well, like, I mean, Adrian, there it is. <laughs> yeah. So you can see how rough it is in this version and can't blame him. This game is still, what, months away from release in this build. Yeah, so if we're going to take away the sword, how are we going to differentiate him from both Argus and Valis? Yeah, well, exactly. just give him a beard. <laughs> I think this one will pleasantly surprise you. Okay. I'm not going to I'm not gonna spoil anything just yet until we get to the actual fight, but um, I will give one hint. You know how 
Agro has that has the um swing the sword from horseback animation that was originally meant to be used from Spider in the OPM demo. Yes, I actually do know that. And we now have the and now we know why it is still it is now we know why it's still used in this version and the OPM demo. So now we're gonna be fighting Base Around. You notice um how in this version Base Around's weak spots are on the side of his legs? Yeah. Let me just show you that why. Mm-hmm. No! <laughs> you can actually hit his weak spots in this version by swinging from horseback, and it actually is what you can do to flip him over when he's over the geyser. Which is, like, really awesome. Okay, let's do this. Leroy! The geysers, the geysers go for a less period of time in this build. Mm hmm Oh! Yeah. Oh, okay, hold on. I can do this. I can hit his leg at least. Come on, let me... We will get this shot. There we go. All right. There we go. Yeah. Look yes. at this. This is funny. Oh, it's light all of a sudden. <laughs> it's true. It's just no wonder. Ice plants. Uh. I don't know if this is. I don't know if this is one this death animation or not. I don't think it is, but it's really funny to just see Malice fall on his knees and face flat. Oh my god, look at that. So, biggest changes that we've seen in this map is the inclusion of um, B5, which appears to be fundamentally intact from the Red Hair Beta stages of this game. For those who don't know, the Red Hair Beta, uh, also abbreviated as RHB, was the period of development in which um, all of the eight, all of um, the eight unused colossi from the original game, Bar Monkey or called Saru, and Griffin, were in the game at any one time. This was the um, period of development where the game arguably had the most detail in it, and this very easily goes to show of this particular quadrant. B five mm. has the most detail out of any actual scene quadrant in the game, and it uses up far more memory as a result. Part of the reason why it was downgraded to B5 in the present stage. You can see, you can see all this stuff. Look at all these hanging yeah, vines. The and There's little... a tree off in the distance with all the, the leaves on it, yeah. Yep. Um, in this version, the tree is actually alive still. Um, while in later versions of the game, the tree is alive up to release, it would melt away um, into the dead version if you got close. However... This um, version of the game, alongside with the B5 Towers, one of the most famous little architects mm. of, this, of this early quadrant, one that Nomad wanted to see yeah. for a very long time, and he got his wish in the PSG preview. <laughs> this little area, um, including the tree, is completely alive. It's high definition, which was like one of our biggest surprises. I'm just going to wait for it to load. Okay. It's really interesting, isn't it? The layout of the arena is so much different. And it's like a it's like a symmetrical shape as well with these little structures here. Mm. It's sort of symmetrical. I don't think Avion's arena was this big. No, I don't think it was either. No sound, at least I don't think there is. I never actually heard anything when I first looked at the intro cutscene, but I don't know if there's any. Oh yeah, you'll notice this really weird effect. You see how there's like this weird terrain glitch in the bottom left corner? Yeah. I don't know if you saw that on the mo Yeah, that's a really glitch. That's a really weird glitch with like reflection models. There you go. Get your ass down. Gotta here. get him twice, I think. There we go. Look at that. Oh wow! Spazzes out when you hit him. What the heck? That's so cool! What is? Yeah, look at that. Why doesn't he do that in the... <sighs> yeah. And look at that smoke effect. 
All right, he's either going to sweep us or he's going to... Uh, all right, he's going to sweep. Sometimes he'll do this, like, gust attack. That's really mm -hmm. weird. Oh! Yeah, you can see how rough the battle is. Yeah. I just wish that we still had the models for the unused Colossi Idols in this version. I yeah. thought they would be in here because, um, of course, we've got the 24 Colossi model here, but, but unfortunately, they're not present. I build. wonder. Oh. I wonder if there ever was. Um. Yeah. The 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 idols were definitely finished. We can see them in the sheets. Right. Right. No. I know they the idols were finished. I'm just wondering yeah. if they were ever placed side by side within the shrine. Um. Very likely they were. So those are all the new things that have been discovered. They're still pouring over the demo, so there might be new things discovered eventually. So make sure to stay tuned to this channel for more stuff like that. Before I conclude, as I promised, here's that little tease from the Beyond the Forbidden Lands project. They now have completed the model for Sirius, the dog colossi that runs into the Stonehenge rocks and gets stuck. Doesn't he look beautiful? I think he belongs in a museum. That belongs in a museum! I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. That helps me out more than you know. Special thanks to Ocelot, Wizzy, um, and all the other people that are pouring over this demo. And also special thanks to the people who provided them with this demo. And of course, special shout out to Nomad Colossus. He's the OG when it comes to this type of stuff, as we all know. Finally, if you want to see more content related to Shadow of the Colossus, click on any of the videos you see on screen now. Until next time, just remember, as always, stay yellow.